Hey, Baron. What's up? You thought you were so cool with your towers. Well, look, I built my own. You're not that special. I made new ones. What are you going to do about that? What do you... What do you mean you made n new ones? I'm saying I talked to my boy Da Vinci, and uh, needless to say, man, these next towers are even cooler than the ones that you stole. Also, I'm eating my shoulder because it's fun. I'm confused by everything you just said. Well, uh, here, let me show you. So you know how Da Vinci's a, an inventor, and he loves his cannons, right? No. I, I like to raid stuff, though. Well, uh, I, I got the towers, and I, I, put, I put these cannons in them. Oh, God. Cannons are good at killing Vikings. They sure are. So what we did was we took the towers. We put nice protective roofs on them. So when enemy catapults come around, we should be able to withstand a couple shots. And now we put one of the coolest siege weapons in the game, a black powder cannon, inside of it. We also got these cute little doors. So let's see what happens because today is the day that the castles get even cooler all right vikings what, what you guys got you guys got cool little castles huh well you haven't even seen the beginning of our technology i said you haven't even seen the beginning of our technology there we go <laughs> what do you think about that jarl we've got cannons oh come on i guess they're not the most accurate but at least at least they're shooting you know okay guys i better not fall off oh god what are you what's the jarl doing he's not even fighting <laughs> Get wrecked, idiot! Oh, I'm the idiot too. So we've had some pretty epic sieges, uh, both with the castle wall mods and without. And I'm delighted to share those with you. So if you guys want the access to this, you if you like what we're doing with the mods and you want to see more, do two things for me. One, pull the trigger on the like button. And the second thing is suggest some cool mods that we should check out. There have been all sorts. You guys suggested Clone Wars and Star Wars. We made it. And we're planning on doing more. So let me know what you guys would like and check this out. What's an igloo? You're going to have to wait to see what that thing's about. So the Vikings, I just feel like they're always the bad guys. But the Vikings, they're like, oh, you built something? I want to knock it down. I want to raid it, steal your gold. I want the gold. I want to know where the gold's at. And poor me over here, you know, found these amazing people who are all about art and enlightenment. It is the Renaissance, after all. I'm still teaching my men to maybe stay up on the towers. A lot of them aren't listening. But, you know, you can only tell them so much. But... The cannon towers here should be pretty good at stopping the enemies from being able to get close. Obviously, the Vikings are bringing in their naval ship invasion. They love to attack on their boats, even if it means carrying them above their heads. And I think one of the issues here is the cannons aren't facing the right way. But I think we might have enough soldiers here still. Look at that. See, some of the cannons are able to find it. And oh my goodness, a balloon knocked the top of this tower off. Oh, timber! See that, my friends, is the cool part about destruction-based physics. Oh my god, it was beautiful. It's a work of art how it just fell apart. And look, they're, they're hitting us with frosty arrows. So I think, I think the Vikings need to adopt some siege equipment, right? I mean, if you're gonna siege a castle, it only makes sense that you bring siege equipment. I mean, if you think about it, Vikings really were just the original pirates. So here is the pirates. The Vikings have now brought in two catapults. I'm curious to see how good they're gonna do against our cannon towers. The pirates also brought a cannon. So cannons versus cannons, black powder versus black powder. And now our towers, you'll notice that they're a little curved inwards so that they're able to fire. Now, one of the things that we're working on is to try to make it so uh, you can rotate the castle walls, that you can rotate the towers, that maybe there's like a snapping mechanic so that walls are easily put together because right now they're a little finicky. If you overlap them, they'll explode. There's a lot of bugs still in this mod. Uh, some of which you can kind of power through. All right, so uh, two catapults next to each other aren't very good. But look at this, man. Now that the castle, the, the cannon towers are able to rotate. Uh-oh, here it is. Here it is. This is what I love about this. This one berserker is hacking away at the walls in 
While he wouldn't be able to do this in real life, in Tab's life, it's totally accurate that one dude with two axes can chop down an entire tower. He even jumped out of the way as it was collapsing. I love it. And now he's inside the gates right here, hacking up some archers. Oh, and Musketman too. He's flying with the balloons. You are the bravest berserker I think I've ever seen. You know, sir, if you take one step, you'll be the furthest from home you've ever been because you're gonna die. Don't do it! How do you... Okay, yeah, goodbye. Uh-oh, and here comes the king. Yeah, there it is. All right, take out those Viking archers. It's time that we win and we move on to the next level. Oh, are we going to play a little piñata? What happens if you swing and hit the flying guy? Does candy fall out? Well, I guess first you'd have to successfully swing and hit him. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. All right, now the king's going to run away. He's been hit with... Uh, ice arrows and balloon arrows. Now, is this cannon still firing? Now, what happens? I've never tried this. I'm... Oh! There we go. I fired it. Okay, so I think what I have to do, since we don't have line of sight... I've never done this. This is... This is interesting. Okay. Okay. I hit a guy. I hit a guy and spilled him off. Okay, good. Good. So the siege is slowing down. I think it's safe to say we know who won. Oh! Am I just not affected by ice? What is happening? Oh, whoa, okay, we're doing some some Jedi techniques right here. That catapult is not having a good time. <laughs> One swing, two guys off the cliff, that's a collateral, and the sweet, sweet taste of victory, perchance? <laughs> he knocked it off. Don't chase it! Don't chase it! All right, so I set up this outpost. It's nighttime, and we're in a creepy area of my empire where at night, not only do my men's heads seem to shrink, but also... There's rumors of Baba Yaga. And here he is, the Lord of Death himself. I think I know what we can do. Oh man, of course they have siege equipment. The Baba Yaga wouldn't bring this in. Oh no, and his chief lieutenants, the swordcaster and vampire here. He's got his little mages, the candleheads. They're a bunch of weirdos. And he's got a whole army of the undead. Well, luckily we fortified our position with the turtle, or as we like to call it, the cannon igloo. <laughs> and uh, I brought in a couple archers, so I'm actually kind of curious to see if we can hold back against the enemy. The cannon is firing, the cannon's doing well. Look at the bones just shattering, okay. But we're, see, this is the thing. Fire damage is cool and all, but if you're attacking a giant stone fortification, it's not gonna do a whole lot. It's pretty much fireproof, but here's what I'm worried about. The pumpkin catapults. Now, oh, they, he opted to go for the anti-infantry way. Oh no, this poor wall in the back that already fell over. Uh-oh. Needless to say, oh god, our turtle has fallen apart. Our defenses are falling apart, and Baba Yaga out here is destroying us. Look at this little flag. Uh-oh. This doesn't bode well for us. The knight tried to block me and save my life, but it's, it's not looking well. There we go. We've defeated Baba Yaga. There goes one of the catapults. Both of the catapults are down. And so now it's just this. So needless to say that the spooky faction had a little bit of difficulty dealing with this. Ha ha ha! You know what this reminds me of is the, uh, the Korean turtle ships that they use to defend against the uh, Japanese invasions, right? Isn't that like, they, oh man. It reminds me of Shogun 2. Well, if the Vikings have this big of an invasion force, they've even remembered to bring their siege equipment. And the Jarl brought his entire fleet, an entire legion of his best men. Then he must be facing a formidable opponent. This is the Turtle Wall of the Korean Peninsula. It's designed to protect against Vikings because remember, this is totally accurate history. So, the Turtle Towers and Chuko knew they've invented these semi-automatic crossbows. It's actually very impressive technology. So let's see if they can defend the Great Wall against the Viking Siege. The Vikings only have a couple of berserkers. Oh my god, they all ran into the walls. That would be cool if you had enough berserkers to destroy a wall. Oh, the Hawachas. See, they, they, they brought this artillery and they're like, hey, wouldn't it be cool if we fired over the walls? And they're like, no, it'd be even cooler if we fired through them. So, you know. Totally accurate physics. <laughs> you gotta love it. Look at these look at these ships taking the incoming Hawacha shots. I love it. The walls are starting to collapse. This one is actually pretty cool. Look at this. See? This is what I love about this. You'd think this thing would fall apart, right? Well, it has just enough keeping it up. So the Great Wall of China, oh god, it, it's starting to collapse here. It's 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 really the Korean Japanese Chinese alliance. The triple entente 
to defend against the Viking invasion because the Vikings are just getting really, really aggressive lately. They're invading everybody. Look at this, man. There's, uh, they, they, hold on, do you see this? There's a berserker who jumped through the wall. <laughs> That's amazing. I love how the walls are all in different areas of like disrepair due to the siege. They're definitely gonna have to rebuild them here because I think that they're gonna request the pirates to support them. Well, the pirates did come and they advised, you know, this is a lengthy siege. Let's counter their towers with our own and put our own siege equipment on top of it. So they did. The pirate even brought in two of his most specialist units, the harpooners, and a few cannons for good measure. So this siege, needless to say, is going to be a little bit more difficult here. Oh, catapult makes contact oh i thought he was aiming for that one turtle tower he fired at the samurai oh the middle section of the wall is starting to collapse who watches are firing there's a hole in this wall it's bound to collapse oh man that's gorgeous this catapult smashed the roof but it wasn't able to kill the crew of that cannon it's still operational that thing's operational i love tabs and I really, really love it when it's modded. I can't wait to read your suggestions on what mods we should work on next. I've got a very, very, very special project in the works, but we're looking for the next one. Cannons are doing pretty well. I guess the pirates are bringing cannons. Chuko News, man, their fire rate is just insane. Oh, that guy just got hit with a cannon and taken out. The Hawatches are firing uh, between the rubble here as this poor Viking, what is it, a headbutter? tried to get through now what's going on over here is there a unit somehow trapped under this <laughs> there's a samurai and they're trying to kill him i think he's trapped under the rubble they can't get to him <laughs> somehow there's units all over the place like look look at the battlefield now see this is the beauty of it it started all pristine and now it's just absolute chaos. As the Jarl's sitting here, he's trying to ride his axe like a broomstick because I guess he wants a Harry Potter mod. Ooh, I don't know how we do that, but we could figure it out. I mean, if you can put towers and walls and dark magic like that in the game. Can someone tell me what you guys are focused on over here? They're shooting at each other. Whoa, look at this dude. Oh, look at that. That's, let's just appreciate the battlefield right now. I think it's safe to say that they held the line. So if we do it again real quick, we're not even going to slow it down. I want to see who wins this battle. Gentlemen, oh, I, I said I'm not going to slow it down. And I immediately have to slow it down because the camera started zooming in. Fire! This is what a siege looks like from bird eye view. Real time. The middle walled section has collapsed. The Viking ships have all landed. The catapults are starting to smash the middle turret there. It's still able to fire. The Vikings are swatting at an armored tower with paddles in the lower left. It's pretty hilarious. <laughs> and Hawatchers are somehow able to fire through my stone walls. Uh, like I said, bugs, right? By the way, I've got a Discord link. Link's gonna be in the video description from videos starting from now onwards. You guys can join the community. Um, give video suggestions and game suggestions and all kinds like that. There might be like uh, mod previews in the future. I'm still trying to get that organized, but obviously lots of stuff's going on lately if you think about it. I don't know, man. The, the, the Viking Pirate Alliance did pretty well. I think they won this one. When you look at this map, don't you think, oh my gosh, I want to have an epic siege of Mount Olympus? Well, I do. What if I put a tower here? Let's- Oh, it worked! Word came down to Lord Zeus that he would be under siege, so he began to fortify his castle, even though it looks like it's Medusa's here. Where are you, Medusa? And he called upon his allies, the Renaissance faction, and the ever tried and trusty medieval faction. He also brought in Baron's cannon towers, so those are pretty good too. But faced against him was the dreaded pirate Captain Barbarossa. Leonidas's twin cousin what who is very jealous of Leonidas's renown who decides hey I'm gonna kill Zeus and that'll make me famous the Viking Jarl who uh, ate his own neck <laughs> and Baba Yaga Lord of Death so this is gonna be a pretty tricky siege I think I'm not expecting the defenders to do very well they're drastically outnumbered and Zeus is way at the top of his ivory tower there actually looks like the walls collapsing behind him Zeus you may want to get down from there let's take a quicker look yeah that looks like a precarious place to be luckily he's taking the uh, elevator known as falling a great distance down <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Look at those guys. They, they, they tried to take the shortcut. Okay, back to the siege where things are getting a little bit dicey. I don't think Zeus is going to be able to overcome the adversity on the battlefield here, guys. Uh, two out of the four cannon towers are already destroyed, and Red's army seems barely touched. I think we're going to have to come up with something else. What other addition can we make? Oh my god, the tower is translucent. What's happening, dude? We are breaking the game. Incoming! Oh, Zeus. Oh, Zeus. It looks like the first battle for Olympus is going the way of the bad guys. Ladies and gentlemen, do you love tabs mods? Leave a like if you do. Uh, please give some suggestions as to what else you think we could make in terms of mods and stuff like that. Hope you did enjoy the video and hope your weekend's going great. I'm gonna go get myself a double cheeseburger with extra pickles. I'll see you later. Thanks for watching.